Good day, comrades, Captain Cooch's Keep. I'm on Silent and we're on the air with more Final Fantasy IX. It's episode number... What episode are we up to? 38 of Final Fantasy IX? I do believe, I do believe. Episode 38 of Final Fantasy IX. Thanks very much for joining me. If you missed out on the last time, we successfully completed our adventures through Oil there with Zidane and friends. Zidane's friends. This time included Quinn, Freya, and Amaranth. This time out, we are Aiko, along with Vivi Steiner and Dagger, going through Kuja's Desert Palace, trying to escape here. I don't... I guess we can't light this... whatever this fixture is here. Now, the reason why we've got this ragtag bunch here is because Aelvair had an anti-magic barrier. Oh, I guess we're going through the door this way. That's the problem with fixed cameras. You're never quite sure what the hell is going on. But I guess we're going up. And we're gonna do... Woo! That turned on the stained glass. Alright, cool. Cool. Kuja's palace is in desert. Has random battles. And also has a shit ton of stained glass. Oh, and the floor is lava. I mean, literally, if you go down to the very bottom, the floor is lava. Alright, so we shall carry on. Yeah, like, well, all the way down there. The floor is lava. Down the very bottom. See, very orange. Yep, yeah, the floor is very lava. So we should carry on. Man, there's... You can go up, we can go to the right, or you can go down towards us. These, uh, all these light fixtures. I think the, the purplish one on the second level there. Oh, what's that? Let's see. Unless same glass opens the path when lit. Okay. I guess, the, okay, I guess the purplish didn't do anything, so we can go right, or we can go down. Well, right, obviously. Down it is! Alright, but... Is there anything I can do here? Okay, let's turn on this light. Ah, okay, so we're gonna... Just have a magic second set of stairs. I mean... At the end of the day... As long as it progresses this forward. What does this one do? Man. This guy has a fondness for secret passages. Like... Ridiculous secret passage. All right, what does this one do? The Offering of Power. Faithful Paladin extract power to dodge from the Bracer. I don't know what we keep doing, but... Oh, we've got the Enkai Armlet. What the hell's an Enkai Armlet? An armlet formerly worn by a ninja. Okay. Things you don't expect to come across in Final Fantasy include ninjas. But you know what? Tis what it is. So I think, unless we can suddenly turn that one on. Yes, we can. Which opens its own secret passage. What the hell? As we go up. Can this one turn on anything? It's just, I mean, if we turn on all the, all the everything. I mean, that's what the two black mages in the last episode said. Well, so long as you turn on everything, it works itself out. What's this one do? So that went from a blank screen to activated. That just that's just cheating. Going from blank screen to activated stained glass. Are you telling me the stained glass isn't real? Is some sort of magic bullshit? That's not cool, man. If you're gonna do stained glass, you may as well do it legit, like a church, you know. What if this is a church? What if this is Kuja's church to himself? Oh, moderately trippy. <laughs> Only moderately. I'm assuming that did something. I heard a Moogle. Anyone else hear a Moogle? I, I heard a random battle uh, there, but I, I also heard a Moogle. Oh, okay. I guess we could just walk through that. Hi! You're Moxim! I think I might have a letter for you. Well, there you go, Mock Sam. Not to be confused with other famous Sams, such as Samwise Gamgee and Samuel Tarly. And, uh, Sam from Until Dawn. <laughs> it's going through... It's going through my, uh, my TV and movie and video game Sams. According to rumors, Stiltskin is on a quest to find out why Mognet stopped functioning. I'm sure Stiltskin will find out the truth, Kubo. Why did Artemisian stop delivering mail? There must be a reason, Kubo. Indeed, there must be, Moxam. 
All right, onwards and let's see what the candle does. That seems decidedly evil. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. We gotta be a uh, see faithful paladin and extract the strength to resist magic from the hat. Uh, okay. Then we received the black hood. Better than the white one. That would not be good. <laughs> KKK. That's not good. A <laughs> uh, simpler time when the Simpsons could make a crusty comedy classic joke like that. Not sure if that's done anything, but you know what? It's uh. It's got to do something when I do the shadows in a certain way. Because it keeps panning back to the middle. As if something's going to happen. Let's see. Extract the power to dodge magic from the shield. Sierra Hotel Indigo... Or is it India? Sierra Hotel India Echo Lima Delta Shield. Jenner. 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 We should have repackaged Roman Reigns. <laughs> Never think about it, like... You know, the guy who is the Genetti of a tag team... He's the one that's kind of stuck with that old shit, you know? It's like, um... Yeah, Brett kept the music from the Heart Foundation, he kept the look, but he didn't keep the name. I guess that's one way of looking at it. But, like, you know, Marty... Okay, that didn't do it. So if we get, what if we go the opposite way? We gotta run all the way around. Yeah, you think about it. Never even talks about the Janetti of a tag team. Well, Marty, you know, he ended up, you know, kept the Rocker's name and the Rocker's music. I mean, Sean got his own shit. And probably helped him grow as, you know, its character because of that. Whereas Marty, you know, it's like, Marty was still living in the shadow of the rockers. Does that do anything? Well, oh, do I have to turn off? Does turning off this do something? Let's see. Dead spirit seduction. Dare not to follow those of evil. Strive to follow those of good. Okay. There's got to be some combination of this that works, right? Just don't know what it is. One eternity later. Ah, there we go. You just keep kind of trying what might work until you eventually get it. Now I'm thinking... What's this say? Shadow Chamber. Alright. Well, I guess that's appropriately named. I kind of wonder if we've kind of reached the end or damn well near the end. So I'm wondering if we save in a tent and move on with life. I think that might be the way to go. Alright, so everybody's been healed up. We've been re-equipping everyone, so hopefully we have what it takes to take on whatever's up these stairs. After that puzzle, it just feels like one of those things we keep... Ah, yeah. For sure. This is the... I don't know if it's the start of trouble or the end of trouble, but... Trouble it is. That is for damn sure. Intruder alert! Defense system activated! Initializing automatic countermeasures, transferring from observation to attack mode. Huh? That's not Kuja's voice. Who's there? Come out and show yourself! Don't ask for shit like that. Because then you get the boss fight music, and that's not good. Who likes the boss fight music? Well, I mean the boss fight music's good. I shouldn't say that. It's not who likes the boss fight music, it's like... Who likes having the enhancing defense systems? Ah, crap. Protecting active bloodstones. Oh, please tell me. I, uh, let's see. Failed to disable element of attacks. That's good. Magic power enhancement failed. That's good. Hallway stone enhances defense. Crap, I missed one. Evasion enhancement failed. Good. Three out of... Oh, uh... Magic defense enhancement failed. Four out of five. So we're gonna hit it with magic. 
magic evasion <laughs> enhancement failed. Five out of six. So I got... I missed one. I missed one out of six. Well, that's, that's a shame. Unfortunately, it's a defensive one that makes Steiner basically useless. All right. Um... No, wait a second. Because we can get Dagger to hit it up with a scan. Hit it up with a scan. You see, Valiapira. So we'll just, uh... Wait and see what it says. If it's immune to this, I'm going to... Okay. Big giant rock. What are my options here? I was going to say water. I just equipped the thing with water. Death's not going to work. My first instinct is blizzard. Let's start with that one. And we're going to... Pyraga. Ah, blizzard might not have been such a bad start. Oh, that hurt. We'll hit up Aiko. She can heal herself. Now let's see what this does. Seven out of three. Okay. Fire. Opposite is water. So let's hit at, up with a water. And then let's see how the water does before we make our next move. How about that? Let's see how this the water sort does before we make our next move. What did that do? 10... 10, 26. That's not too bad. What does Vivi get me with the water? Because, again, it's, uh... It's gonna... Oh, Blizzaga. Okay, so it's just cycling through, then. Did it miss? Not hit? Okay. All right, let's see what let's see what the water does. That was the strangest thing. I don't know. Ever, I know magic evasion is a stat, but I didn't actually think it worked. Oh yes, yes. Um, crap. Garnet, summon, summon, summon Leviathan. Yeah, there you go. That'll get through the reflect. Ah, oh, reflect. Ah, oh, sons of bitches. All right. I should think this one through. I know what to do. Echo. Carbuncle up. And then now we just gotta we can get uh, Steiner to attack but uh, Vivi's gotta sit this one out meanwhile I'm talking through oh they did not do a very good job cleaning up Leviathan that's a bit of an oversight on the wings I know I keep complaining about like picking out nitpicking things but it's just like it, it's just little things you know 1700 it's not bad I mean I don't know what we're dealing with here oh achievement unlocked surfs up and then we're probably going to unlock another achievement for hitting up Carbuncle. Carbuncle casts Reflect on your whole party. And if, after you learn Carbuncle, you equip whoever's summoning Carbuncle with a particular thing, you can upgrade Carbuncle to do a whole pile of shit, not just Reflect. Here to help, then. Achievement unlocked. Then Daga. Ah! Suck my balls! Let's go. 666. Six, six. I just go full Kevin Magnuson on this. I just tell it to suck my balls. <laughs> I didn't mean to go full K Mag on this one. Suck my balls, mate. Uh oh, uh, who am I who am I right now? Vivi, alright. Uh cast it against yourself because it'll reflect and hit the other thing. Oh no, I gotta I do have to hit Yeah, that I have to use have Steiner use the Ooh, twenty one hundred that time. A little bonus off the reflect. Now the problem is, of course, that uh, I don't have any... I don't have any way to directly heal anyone anymore without... The... Oh, now is it going to learn? No, it's not going to learn yet. It's not going to learn yet. I thought... I seem to recall... The reason why I had Carbuncle Equipment is because I know it cast reflect. But I seem to recall from growing up and playing this game... I seem to recall that the um, that this thing does learn and starts casting off itself and bounces it back at you in order to circumvent the reflect because reflect only works once it, you can't bounce because if you reflected and the enemy are reflected it just bounces off you infinitely and it's just not going to do that so anyway water swords do circumvent that shit so what we can do we can 
water again. Hit Vivi with it. And we'll sit and wait for this one for just a moment. Uh, actually, no. Aiko, can you eat? Oh, never mind. Don't worry about ethering anyone. We're done. That, that was it. Terminating defense system! It's gonna fall over. Oh no, it's gonna melt. Oh, you know you fucked up when you melt. I think we beat it. I do believe, I do believe. Do we get a, yeah, we get a celebration. Yeah, Vivi saves the day. That's the one thing. I wish it did have XP for bosses, but it does help getting all that AP as well. So I guess at this point, uh, we, we turn on the last candle. And does this teleport us somewhere to safety? Meanwhile... Oh, we've returned on the Hildegard one. No rest for the wicked, I gotta get moving. I was gonna say, at least you're all healed up, that's good. So I was kinda thinking... What if we get into a random battle? Is it Mr. Number 12? Mr. Number 12 is told not to go any farther. Didn't we just see you back inside the Desert Palace, Mr. Number 12? Oh well. So we'll do the hustle around. Head back to the teleporter here. I'm trying, I'm trying to, this is really where my memory starts to fade and I don't remember where, what really happens after that. So it'll be interesting to see. What the? Where are we now? Did I take a wrong turn? Welcome back. I'm inside the room past the stairs. But I want you to come alone, Zidane. Alone. He's the worst scum alive. Zidane, go with caution. Yeah, tell me about it. I'll be okay. You guys just wait here. And if you hear sounds like I'm getting murdered, uh, feel free to, you know, run in and save the day. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you all on that. Come inside. Uh, that was a bit needless and elaborate, but... I'm so happy to see you again, Zidane. My friends better be alright. Oh my, blunt as always, I see. Take a look in there. Oh well, I guess that, uh... All that escaped for nothing. No need to worry, just needed some rest, that's all. Now... Give me the Gulug Stone. I worry for Zidane, but I hope the others are well too. Oh my. Huh? Where's Zidane? You went forth to Kuja's domain alone. By what means did you escape? Actually, there's no time. We gotta go stop Zidane. Oh, poor Sid Ribbit. Everybody keep going single file. Ah! What the heck? What about... Uh-oh. It's Zorn! And Thorn! And a trap! Because of course. Now give me the Gulag Stone. You bastard, you're the worst scum alive! Yes, yes, we've heard the speech already. <gasps> Yawn, I grow weary of your tantrums. Well, will you hand it over or not? Don't, don't relinquish it, Zidane. Huh, so who's inside this cage? Oh dear, I wasn't expecting this. That's right, the ones inside are fake. But don't think you've won yet. What do you mean by that? Hehehe. <laughs> I'll leave me alone. Ribbit, I'll protect you. What a freak, this frog can speak. That frog goes swish, you'll make a fine dish. Ugh. Ribbit. 
And I think they got Sid. They got Echo and Sid. Well, that works too. I wanted to finish you off after getting the Gulug Stone and killing all your friends. Instead, I'll just take the girl. I hope we meet again. Just not today. Arg, it won't respond. He take big airship. I thought you were afraid of flying, Quinna. Let's get him. He's afraid of heights. Anyway. So, man, everybody leveled up plenty in, uh, in there, so. We might be able to st stick with this team, but we probably can get away with uh, a little swappage and a little... Get a nice rounded team. Not that I think it really makes much of a difference either way, but let's carry on. Just ever so slightly longer since we've uh, um, yeah, let's go this way. So I think this will take. I'm hoping this will take us back to the airship dock. We can hustle over and see if we can't save the day. Or we can run into a random battle. I mean, you know, one or the other. As 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 you do in this. Alright, we're racing over to an airship. Maybe, assuming the airship is still there. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that if we don't see the airship, that the airship isn't there. Well, balls, now what? He did take big airship. When it was right. All right, let's just keep going north. Ah, our uh, whole team of friends seem to have arrived, including Sid. I was wondering what happened to him. We can still follow him on the blue Narcissus. Yeah, but where the hell did he go? Let's go, people. Oh, let's hit the lever. Jesus! Been a while since I've used that one. I assume I just uh, was not paying attention in the whole midst of everything and missed where the hell Kuja's going. There we go. That took a while to figure out. I'll be alright. Oh, there we go. That's how we're going to find out where Kuja's going. Via cutscene magic. As he goes across, there's Medain Sari there. I'm just gonna follow him. As he goes across the sea. Oh! We are actually in hot pursuit! My god! We are in hot pursuit! Like they say, Sheriff Roscopy Coltrane always gets his man. I'm not kidding. We're going to the Lost Continent. Very frozen continent. We're gonna park the blue Narcissus. Yeah. There's a. He headed towards some weird looking structure. Is there something beyond there? What the hell's Kuja up to? Why did he take Aiko? Uh, for the Adelons, of course. His motives are unclear, Ribbit. That girl can summon Adelons too, Ribbit? Yeah. And that's it. He's probably after. For the same reason as after Dagger, I told you that already. Don't worry, Dagger, we're not gonna let him have his way. Kuja's got a lot to answer for. But who's gonna make him answer for it? I guess probably us and our crew will. But uh let's see. I, I think this is I think this is a good team we've got going for the moment. So I think we're gonna carry on with this crew. And we will carry on next time on Final Fantasy IX as we explore the Lost Continent, or the Forgotten Continent, or the hell is this now? The Kelmyra Shores? Whatever. But I think we're going that way. Over there. And that's next time on Final Fantasy IX. So until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. 
Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more Final Fantasy IX in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. More videos to the right on YouTube.com and anywhere, anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.